Or... No, this is clearly their game plan. Isn't this how all their games go? <laughs> Just sitting there. All right, Dan gets in there, gets the quick 13%. There's nothing JJ could have done about that super quick strike on him. And now Dan with the perfect spacing. All right, guys. I think that's long enough for a button check. I think he was turning on his music, maybe? Because he was looking down at his phone, so I assume it was music. Um, Do you play with music? No, I, I want to try it out, though. I tried it once, and it, it wasn't that good. But I also had really crappy headphones, so... Yeah, I, I feel like I have to get really good headphones just to drown out sound, because otherwise it's just music, and then I hear other stuff, too. I feel like in this venue, I need some kind of sound because I seem to keep running into people who they'll have their friends cheering for them, like super close to me. Uh -huh. And a lot of players don't get really distracted by that, but I'm one of the unfortunate ones who does. All right, so there we go. Smashville's what I expected. I don't even know if they play other stages unless it's a best of five. I know there's like switches to Battlefield, things like that, but it's just going to be basic Mario Diddy stuff. Uh, I think Dan has the winning record against JJ right now. That oh, yeah, see, that spike. I knew it. Like, Dan always always wants to go for that spike if someone jumps out of their, like his back air. And that's, that's really good for Mario. Barrels. Really weird barrels. JJ, kind of weird with those barrels, that side B. I do like that lately JJ has been trying a little bit more crazy technical things. Like, basically the mix-ups. Because mm -hmm. um, for a while, I felt maybe six months ago or so that his play was really stagnating. And he was getting frustrated very visibly, honestly, publicly. And it's good to see that he's just changed up a lot of his gameplay because it's made him better. It's helped him improve at the same rate, even though he was kind of ahead of everyone at one point in time in our community. Is the Cat Mario tag official? I still don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> All right, JJ gonna take that first stock. The bread and butter diddy banana into forward smash you in the face. I was actually down tilt to forward smash. Or yeah. I don't I don't even know if that was true. I think that's really true if your opponent DI is the down tilt in. Which it, the down tilt's frame forward. It's really really fast. Like, so you can't really react to it. Um, otherwise he would have just done down tilt L smash and not get, and I don't think he would have gotten that stock. But JJ he has such a huge lead right now. He hasn't let he hasn't let Dan land. And if he lands, he just throws a banana or grabs him. Dan has felt uncomfortable this whole game. Dan just can't Oh, that was very close. That, that's something that, that JJ actually Whoa. picked up recently, the, the banana at the ledge. Uh, it, co it covers, it automatically covers ledge get up and ledge attack. So all he has to do is I cover either jump or ledge roll. And down air covers the jump, and then roll, you can probably just react to it and do the back air. I feel like JJ lately is probably either salty or disappointed a little bit about the PR ranking. Because, I mean, he's the number one player in the state at one point in time. Falling to seventh, I think, for him is, like, become a personal challenge. Like, wait a minute. I know how good I've been. I can do this again. And he's, he has come to play this entire April ever yeah. since that happened. Like, just I mean, PR is not, like, a set-in-stone thing, you know? Like, in this game, a lot of people, there's a lot of upsets, and people improve, and some people just fall off. And that's how it is. Like, you shouldn't be really obsessed with the PR. Well, I don't think he's, I'm not saying he's like obsessed with it or oh, anything, yeah. but to him that was like a personal challenge, like call out challenge from the community, like, JJ, you're better than this. And he has been, certainly has been this entire month. He's been hitting the lab a lot. And uh, it shows. I mean, he has, he's doing the setups. He's getting much more mix ups, like you were saying. Uh, but Dan, Dan getting those Mario combos. Mario combos, like, you don't have to do anything fancy, but they're so efficient. It's good to see him hit a couple. Uh, that first game, that none of that was really around anywhere that we saw. Yeah, Dan just never landed, like you said. Ouch, that's going to be it, though. But Dan into forward smash. JJ has a really huge lead, 88%. And that's that's not even kill range yet, unless he gets spiked or, like, nared off stage or something. Well, a raw forward air, or forward smash, I believe, can with Mario. Yeah, sweet spot, sweet spot forward, forward smash would go for it. That's why he's been going for it. He's thrown out two in a row now. Yeah, Dan's good. Hopefully he doesn't start fishing. Uh, that's that's one thing a lot of Mario players like to do, just fish. But he did catch that roll, and that, was, that wasn't even fish. I was like, all right, you're going to roll in. Uh, a lot of people like to roll in for some reason. It's not usually the best option. Um, rolling in is kind of a mix-up. A lot of players who do it, um, especially at, like, mid-levels, um, not, not so much high. Ooh, good Ooh. spike. All right, that was a quick 30%.
Um, the players who roll in think that their opponent won't be able to react to it. Oh, that was a really bad barrel. Dan now has oh I was <laughs> he now has the banana so hopefully he make he can make uh, something out of it. Good uppy. Um, little Mario combos here have kind of brought Dan all the way back into this game after losing that first stock a little bit earlier. Yeah, he has a he has a pretty good not good lead but he has a decent lead. He just has to make sure to watch out for that banana. Oh, oh that forward smash not hitting. It wouldn't have killed but the damage on it and the stage control would have been very helpful for JJ. Um, I believe at this rage. It might be a little bit more rage. Now that he's over 100, this may work. But I believe the Hoopa is in play at this percent. Oh, he's... Not anymore now. That, that was a very risky up -y. But JJ didn't, wasn't able to fast fall. Did he not being too too fast at falling? I think he's like one of the medium. Like middle middle fast fall. All right. JJ, look, JJ looking for the setup in. Dan looking to catch him with something. Oh, that's going to be it. Yep. Garbage day. Oh, yeah. All right, JJ going to take the set real quick, 2-0. I mean, Dan was doing really well in that second game. Much better than first game. But uh, JJ pulling that off. Now I think we're going to have... Uh, I think Ned versus Knight. Are you still alive? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, losers. I lost tonight. Knight. Are you and Knight played early? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, early. I mean, we've played in winners.